Hey, welcome back. Good to have you with us on WKYT. Southern cooking does not necessarily have to mean food that's bad for you. You can get a taste of Southern flair that showcases wholesome and healthy foods at a special dinner that'll be tonight in Lexington. Oh boy, it sounds <laughs> great. We're joined by chef and cookbook author Virginia Willis to tell us more about it. Welcome. Glad to have you Thank in Thank you here. so much for having me. I'm a pleasure to be here. <laughs> well, how do you lighten up you all in the <laughs> South, right? I Southern know. slim down here. I know. It. Well, folks often think that, that, that southern food has to be unhealthy and there's so much more to southern food than fried chicken. See, no. and you're going to show us how. Exactly. So let me let me tell you what I've got going on here. Okay. So one of the things I think about is I go halvesy. So on this side of the bowl, I have a full fat, really full mm -hmm. flavored cheddar. And on this side of the bowl, I have a reduced fat cheddar. Mm -hmm. And the full fat sort of takes over the less flavorful reduced fat. Does so that make sense? you're cutting where you can, Exactly. Right? Yeah. And on that same note, mm -hmm. so here I have some mayonnaise, which of course we know mayonnaise is a food group in the South, right? I know. That's, All right. Yeah, yeah. How, do you, how do you cook without that? But well, then you're so mixing in? 2% Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. So you can't really taste the taste it, taste the, the, the mayonnaise as much, or the yogurt. They sort of balance each other out. And then I'm going to add, of course, the diced pimentos and a little bit of grated onion. So this recipe for lightened up pimento cheese is about 26 calories a tablespoon. Regular pimento cheese is 80. Wow, that's a wow. big difference. You cannot really taste the difference. And who can live without pimento cheese? If you can't live without <laughs> pimento cheese, exactly. Now, we're not having pimento cheese tonight, but we've got a lot of other delicious dishes. Yeah, what are, what are a couple of other things you'll have? Oh, it's going to be wonderful. So we are, we are having um, uh, barbecue meatballs, crab and celery remoulade. Um, Jeremy's sharing some of his dishes from his restaurant. Uh, um, Duck so Is that right where exactly. it's going to be out of the restaurant? Exactly, yes. And so, and then the um, Morris Books shop will be there selling my books and I love that. I love now here's, the title. A, here's another Light way to cut. Yeah, cut yeah, I do too. Yeah. Here's the other way to cut down though. You said uh, you don't grab a big piece of bread, right? Exactly. You kind of what I always say is think outside the cracker box, uh -huh. right? So? I'll make y'all one. Oh, that's it's very nice. nice. It's just on a cucumber. And a cu on a cucumber, of course, on a celery stick. You know, it's really it's not just about it's not about losing things or or de deprivation. It's about I'm eating more vegetables. Just back, <laughs> we have so many great vegetables in the South, right? I it eat. sounds so healthy. That's good. <laughs> I know people will want to come out tonight mm -hmm. to see you. So what do so they the need to do? The best thing to do is to go to AzuraRestaurant.com, and mm -hmm. they can also um, they can also check out my website, VirginiaWillis.com. Well, I'll and tell you. We'll check, check out the yeah. book. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Glad to have you. Very good little treat there. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it.